Hi, VincoreWeather.com meteorologist Paul Dorian here on Monday, January 19th. Well, yesterday a coastal storm affected much of the Mid-Atlantic region with some heavy rainfall and, of course, some serious icing issues north and east of the Mason-Dixon line, especially focused in on yesterday morning. But there was even some icy conditions last night lingering into this morning. That coastal storm moved northward into New England, pounding them with some heavy rainfall last night. Now attention turns to a clipper system that will affect the mid-Atlantic region during the midweek time frame. It looks like there can be a stripe of accumulating snowfall Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday evening, perhaps in the area from Philadelphia to New York City, perhaps on the order of a coating to a couple of inches. And we'll focus in on the clipper type of system coming our way for the midweek and some characteristics involved with clipper systems. First of all, yesterday's storm developed off the Carolina coast kind of typical for this time of the year to get some kind of a coastal type of system. It rode pretty much to the north off the uh, coastline and into the eastern and southern part of New England. There is another type of path here for storms to affect the mid-Atlantic region in the uh, winter time and it's referred to by meteorologists as a clipper system, specifically an Alberta clipper type of system. This is the province of Alberta in Canada and uh, it does, uh, not infrequently, fairly common for some upper level energy to take shape in this part of southwestern Canada and then to drop southeastward in a broad northwesterly flow in the upper part of the atmosphere right across the northern plains, the upper Midwest, and into the mid-Atlantic region. And this is what we have to deal with on Wednesday as opposed to a coastal type of system. We have a clipper type of system that will be dropping in from the northwest to the southeast. And again, it can produce some accumulating snowfall in the mid-Atlantic region Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. Well, here are some of the major characteristics of a clipper system, again, uh, often referred to as an Alberta clipper type of system because of its origin often in the southwestern part of Canada where the uh, province of Alberta is. First of all, they're typically fast moving in a broad upper level flow that is uh, from the northwest to the southeast across the northern plains, across the upper Midwest, into the mid-Atlantic region and the northeast part of the U.S. The fact that the upper air pattern is typically a northwesterly flow means you're usually in cold air here in the mid-Atlantic region. So in the wintertime, clipper systems usually result in primarily snow. Uh, this particular system can be mixed with rain, especially around the D.C. metro region on a Wednesday, but primarily looks like it'll be in the form of snow from Philadelphia north and east across the New York City metro region. The fact that it comes from the southwestern part of Canada across the northern plains means uh, it's usually limited in moisture. It doesn't have the Atlantic moisture, at least not initially. However, once in a while these storms really explode as they reach the Atlantic Ocean. You have to watch out for that. Sometimes they can play uh, 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 tricks on you, especially upon reaching the Atlantic Ocean. In fact, this particular system looks like it'll gradually intensify, and by the time it reaches the Atlantic seaboard, it looks like it'll tap into some of that Atlantic moisture, and it could uh, increase precipitation amounts, perhaps even snowfall amounts, in portions of the mid-Atlantic region and into New England later Wednesday into Wednesday night. Finally, there is typically a narrow stripe of accumulating snow as opposed to a broad area that is often associated with the best snowstorms in the mid-Atlantic region coming up the coastline, which generally produce a broad area of snow if, of course, the air mass is cold enough. The clipper type system t tends to have a kind of a narrow west to east or northwest to southeast stripe of accumulating snow. In this particular case, it looks like it could occur from around the Pennsylvania-Maryland border to around the New York City metro region on a, a west to east type of pattern Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday night. Cumulonimbus cannot be ruled out in the D.C. metro region, but the fact that they will be well above freezing and some rain could be involved limits their chances for snow. But again, right now it looks like the favored area for perhaps a coating to a couple of inches will be from Philly to New York City, Wednesday afternoon and Wednesday evening. 
Well, let's take a look at some computer forecast maps using last night's zero Z NAM model run, the mesoscale model that NOAA puts out, the North American mesoscale model. We'll look at 24 hour increments at the 500 millibar level. The upper level winds about 18,000 feet up or so. This is for this evening. Then we'll look at a Tuesday evening and Wednesday evening. By this evening, here's the upper level energy indicated here in yellow in the northwestern part of the country and the southwestern part of Canada. Indeed, this is the Alberta a province of Canada right in here, and hence the origin of the upper level energy cutting across Alberta. And this is, again, the forecast map for this evening. Notice the broad flow in the upper atmosphere out of the northwest in towards the southeast. Basically a cold pattern here in the Mid-Atlantic region. Moderate chill right now, but probably enough to sustain accumulating snow on Wednesday from Philadelphia north and east to across New York City region. And here's the forecast map for tomorrow evening, Tuesday evening. That upper level energy looks a little bit more impressive now here, now cutting across the northern plains on its way towards the east coast. Let's jump ahead another 24 hours. And here you go, by Wednesday evening, that upper level energy reaches the mid-Atlantic region, and it looks a little bit more impressive here. Again, there are some signs that this type of clipper, this particular clipper system may intensify upon reaching the Atlantic Ocean. That's uh, it's something meteorologists have to be uh, monitoring later Tuesday into Wednesday for some last-minute surprises. Precipitation amounts are likely to be enhanced in this particular scenario along the coastline later Wednesday into Wednesday evening. Well, Alan, let's take a look at the surface forecast maps from last night's Zero Z NAM model run. This is uh, for this evening, Monday evening, then we'll look at 24 hours later, Tuesday evening, and finally Wednesday evening. Some precipitation depicted here by the model across southwestern Canada into the northwestern part of the U.S. Again, rather limited in its moisture content, at least initially as it crosses the northern plains, just not uh, large bodies of water out here for it to tap into, but have to be careful once it reaches the Atlantic seaboard. Let's now jump ahead 24 hours. And here we go for Tuesday evening. Notice the low pressure area depicted here, a weak low pressure, uh, the clipper system itself, and limited moisture still. This is all in the form of snow, but rather innocuous looking pattern here as of tomorrow evening. But look what happens 24 hours later by Wednesday evening. And here we go by Wednesday evening, a little bit of a low pressure area depicted here right off the mid-Atlantic coastline and a much healthier looking precipitation pattern here by the time it reaches the Atlantic seaboard. It does in fact look like this will tap into some Atlantic moisture. So we have to be careful here in the region from Philly to New York City. If it continues to drop farther and farther to the south over the next 12 or 24 hours or so, then DC area could get a little bit colder of a solution, a little bit more in the way of accumulating snow. But right now it looks like uh, mainly confined to the Mason-Dixon line up north and east as far as the accumulating snow goes. Washington right on the border right now, but perhaps a little bit too much rain, a little bit too much above normal, above uh, freezing temperatures on Wednesday for accumulations in that area. But again, uh, an interesting scenario here where it taps into some Atlantic moisture as soon as it reaches the Atlantic seaboard later on Wednesday. Final, this is the total precipitation map for this particular clipper system put out by the NAM model run. And notice, talked about kind of a stripe of accumulating snow. Well, this is the, the uh, uh, kind of the area to watch for over the next 72 hours or so. And notice some um, increasing moisture here as it uh, reaches the Atlantic seaboard. Again, rather limited moisture across the northern plains, but it taps into some Atlantic moisture uh, later Wednesday into Wednesday night, so we'll have to watch out in this area here as there can be some last minute surprises. But again, right now, a clipper system, not a coastal system, but a clipper system looks like it could produce some accumulating snow in Philly, New York City, and especially to the northern and western suburbs of those big cities Wednesday afternoon into Wednesday evening. If uh, we were to choose a commute that would be most affected or probably look uh, would be the Wednesday evening commute time. DC on the edge of accumulating snow right now looks limited in the, that area because of above uh, freezing temperatures and the fact that there can be some rain mixed in down there as well and 
by the current trajectory for where this particular system goes. Again, if it digs farther to the south, DC gets a colder and snowier solution, and we'll monitor that over the next couple of days. But a clipper system, a fast mover, could throw some accumulating snow in parts of the Mid-Atlantic region later Wednesday into Wednesday evening. That's it for now for VencorWeather.com. I'm meteorologist Paul Dorian.